My name is Thomas Easton with Woodland Fluid Power and FinalDryParts.com and I'm here to show you uh, some of the major components of, an, of your standard travel motor that you'd find on a mini excavator. And uh, what we have is the two main hub housing assemblies here. This is a face seal and the face seal would go down at the base of this um, hub. And then uh, after that we would put the main bearings in and they would stack down like this and then get pushed into place on a 50 ton press, hydraulic press. After that happened, this hub would get installed like this and they'd sit together. Those are your two mounting flanges. And inside this hub, we install the three lower gears. These get bearings inside of them. There's the bearing cartridges there. And they go on the posts like this. And then the upper gear assembly goes in place on top of that. This determines the final ratio of the travel motor. Oh, let me set that back down. And it sits in place like that. And then once that's done, we would flip over and go to the other side of the, of the, uh, of the travel motor. Take this back apart these off here. Flip this dude over. This is the motor section of the of the uh, final drive of the travel motor and inside here we'd have our swash plate. This is the base of the motor that determines the amount of power that it's putting out. It would go in the bottom here and then next we'd have the rotating group assembly and this is the piston, the pistons, the hydraulic pistons, the cylinder block, and all the fluid flows through the bottom of here through these kidney-shaped holes and pushing, uh, rotating this, this whole assembly. So this gets installed down here in the, in the drive like this. And then on the base of the piston block assembly is the valve plate, and this goes in place here like that. And once all those pieces are in, we would put this cover on the back of the drive here, and this is the valve block. And you can see the port connections here to connect the hoses. This would be on the back underside of the excavator and the two-speed port. This valve block is, is actually a refurbished one that's in the process of being refurbished. This has been sandblasted, cleaned up. It'll get taken apart and then um, put back together, resealed and tested before it goes back out as a refurbished component. All right, well, thank you for watching. That's the main parts of a travel motor. My name is Thomas Easton with Woodland Fluid Power and FinalDryParts.com.